Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn where not a lot of time has gone by since last episode. I didn't actually um let the game run at all because everything is kind of coming to a halt due to a problem of my own making. Because I missed something. I missed something fundamentally important. And that is we have no pine resin. I shut it down. I shut it down. And completely forgot this a thing. I thought we had this for wood over here. No, it was a pine resin. So, because these aren't running, uh, sorry, not these ones, these ones, because these ones aren't running, our wood wool shop isn't running, we got no pine resin, we get no treaty planks. Because we get no treaty planks, this isn't running, so we're not getting any scrap metal. I can even switch to the scrap metal, still need treaty planks. So, yeah. Because we're not getting no scrap metal, we're not getting a metal in, and because we're not getting a metal in, nothing is being made here. Not that it could be made here at the moment because there's nothing up here, but we need more than 165. So I'm going to put in some more pine resin. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is uh, speed up some time, get this placed here, and then we will blow this down here and we'll put tree pine trees in here. Let's put the pine trees in here now because we can do that anyway. So let's uh, do something like that. How far can you reach? Uh, exactly there. Nice. Awesome. Uh, would you be so kind as to come and plant the trees? Uh, and in fact, you can not plant those four. Yeah. Um, get rid of this guy. I should have realised, because that had a tapper shack over there. I should have realised it was a thing, but I didn't. I didn't. Oh, well. So you do that, you can plant the trees here. You are prioritizing oak trees because we want them planted quickly because they take longer to grow, so it's gonna take a while to plant them. However, I can also come in here and I can turn off chopping down these here. Because we've got kind of a mix of uh, pine trees here as well. We don't need those chopped down either. So um they'll grow and then hopefully you can tap into those there. So I'm gonna make that a slightly higher priority so they build that as well. And there's also something else that I discovered and um, completely sort of, yeah. So here we mentioned, um, you know what, let's wait for that. Let's wait for daytime. Let's wait for daytime. Um, instead, let us um, embrace the explosiveness that is Kabooms. Yay. That clears out a lot there. Let's explode this one here. Let's explode this one here and this one here. There we go. Okay, we're going to do something about this, but that's okay because we need to come underneath here for the power. So we have to shut down food temporarily, but that's okay. Uh, what's happened here? Why is the cultivation halted? You exhausted? Why are you exhausted? Huh? There you go. Okay, it just, you weren't, okay. You just, yeah, I guess someone died and they didn't switch jobs soon enough, but yeah. Um, yeah, so, next day, next day. So, I mentioned this here. Uh, we've got two platforms here, which we can get up to very easily because of the ladders. Nice and simple, easy job, yeah, dear. Um, same here. But we can't get to the centre one because there's no way we can put ladders in this centre triple platform pot. You, you just can't put ladders there at all. It's not, not a thing. You can't build ladders inside them like this. Nope. You can put stairs inside them, uh, but we can't do that because we've got a path there. So I'm trying to figure out how can I possibly get up there and how can I do things? How, how can we get up there? Maybe I remove this one here and we get up to the side of it and then we... Um, uh just build something sideways so like for instance the pine resin uh, maybe we build a medium storage up here instead put that there for pine resin and i was looking at things and doing things like that and then i clicked on the overhangs and then discovered that overhangs can be put through platforms you can place them through platforms you can't put the bottom the the connection piece on a platform um so uh, i don't have a platform the platforms over here uh that's not a good example um, let me so um, you cannot put the 
center piece on the platform, but you can put the overhang through a platform, which means that becomes valid for a path to sit in there. Okay. And then directly opposite these, as you can see just there, there's a ladder. There's a ladder. So what if we went and unlocked the three-way overhangs, I think it is? Like that. It's very difficult to see because it's difficult to get in there, but let me try and get in there as close as I can. Top down, top down, zoom in, bump like that. So if we put these three-way overhangs in, they can come up the ladders here, walk along, and get to this one an inch away. So I'll put one there. Yes. And then we come forward uh, to uh, this one, this one, one there. And I think that's it, because I think the metal was a... Uh, um, that was metal. That's the metal one. So there. So now, if we build those, we've got access to this here, which means we can put more storages here. And the beauty is that we can stack these. We can put another one on top of it and get access to the next level. One on top of it, gets it. So we could put more scrap metal storage in here. And it goes in there. It's kind of awkward that they have to then come out, go along, go in here, kind of back in. But but it's 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 closer than that, so it's not too bad. And this one, uh, we're going to plank down here, and we're just going to have uh, the large warehouse set on top here with pine resin in it. Um, like that. And that'll work. That'll work. That'll connect. It'll be fine. I am so happy I've found a way that you can do it. It's kind of working around it, um, and it only works because we've got these ladders here. Um, but it does work. It does work. So happy days. Then we could put in, just to make it, um, we could put in more storages there to do that. So yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. So we've got planks here. We're going to have logs here and planks here. We could do the same here. We could put things in here. Logs. Also, I've noticed I haven't put a lot of paths in to these ladders. I built the ladders, but not actually pathed up to them. So the beavers, to get up top, have been walking around. So we can put more logs here, more log storages in the centre going up. But we can go all the way up to the sky, basically, um, uh, with this. Because, yeah, we can go right up to this, this, this hook here. We just go up with a double platform, another double platform, and then, sorry, a triple platform, triple platform, double, triple, triple, double, because obviously the top platform's there. And we can access this at each and every height. So, yeah. That's going to work pretty well for us, I think. That's going to work pretty well for us. And we're just going to carry on doing this here, so I'm just going to have this one facing this way and this one facing this way, and that's just going to be that way there. It's not a great deal I can do about that, so... But I'm fine with that. I don't mind that at all. Um, it's just how we did the layout, so... But yeah, you can put... This here. Probably everyone already knew about this, but that's my discovery. That's my discovery that I've just discovered. That um, yeah, You can put them through there giving you platforms after you put platforms. So if you built this, you still have a way to get access to them so we're not stuffed completely. Cool. Do we have any more explosives to explode anywhere? I don't think we do. Um, no, I don't think we do. So let's block this one. Have a staircase in there so they can actually get to that there. And then we need to get some pine resin. So we need to do lots of pine resin. And then once we've got the pine resin going, we will... Um, get some metal going and the metal can be going and everything can be going right now everything is going nowhere fast so yeah. so let's be back in a little bit um unless we get a long drought so we can actually test this theory thing here um um in the middle of it we'll be back once we've got a decent supply of metal going on and stuff going on here um also i might build this i might just get this built you might just let the game run and get this built um, so let's before before we go, um, before you go, let us um, build a platform up to this. Where's our town center? Here's town center. That's um, that's not actually town center is not actually center of the map, is it? Where was center of the map? Didn't we figure this out? It's here, isn't it? Here's the power line. Here, that's center of the map. This one here. So if we were to run there, that center of the map there. I don't want to do this. I could bring up this, and I know it's 63. But let's go to 63. Yeah. Let's build a... A block up to it, a uh, ladder up to it. Like so. 
uh, and then I'm going to go down. It's interesting, you can put permeable floors down, impermeable floors down, and still put like things on top of them, which is quite cool. I really like that. It's like it just changes the floor state, which is which is quite nice. I do quite like that. So uh, let's do this, and then we'll do. Um, well, let's go to the center. Let's go to this is where we did the last the thing last time. So, zoop, 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 and zoop, pop like that. Okay, so that will build that there. We've got so much going on. We don't have that many beavers to fill out all the places that we've got currently running. That's a big problem as well. So our haulers aren't running at all yet. Um, I can't get box going because we don't have metal. So, um. We'll be back once I've got I've got some metal, but it's we, we need I need this running. So we'll be back once the pine resin is going, and uh, we can hopefully um, get ourselves alive again. <laughs> okay, so we've just had a fourteen day drought, which is very nice, very nice. We actually had a seven day wet season, which I think is the shortest we can have. And a 14 day drought straight after it so our water's looking a little bleak it's not empty but it's uh, might have to look into this here um uh so um this here as you can very clearly see they're both the same level they're both the same level so putting a impermeable floor on the bottom doesn't make any difference whatsoever i didn't think it did but you know we have to experiment with things we have to test them um I don't believe putting uh, ones around it, like putting levees around it, um, would also do that. I think the way the game works is it just looks at edges. It doesn't care what the edge is, and that's how it figures out evaporation. I know it's not surface area, because if you have a 3x3, three three, which is 9 tiles, you have a 1x9. The 1x9 will evaporate quickly, or not evaporate, the 1x1 one one will drain quicker than the 3x3, three three, even though they're both 9 water tiles. So it's edges. So obviously the one by nine has got 18, 19, 20 edges, whereas this has got three, six, nine, twelve. So it's all it all works off the edges. I don't know the exact formula, but that's that's the conclusion that we have arrived at is that it's the, the conclusion that I've arrived at. So so okay. So yeah, so if I uh, um, speed up time, I we'll save there. Do, do, do. Here comes the water. We've still left a little ledge here, so the water can all pour down. It's not causing any issues whatsoever with getting anything anywhere. And if I then pause it now, this is the absolute longest time we can do it. Yeah, they're both exactly the same height. There's no way. There's no way there's any difference there. Okay. Okay. But now we know. Now we know. Cool. So let's fill in uh, these guys like that. Um, and also let's up that to pick it up. Um, I have uh, added some things in. So we've got beautiful, beautiful storage here now, uh, which is very nice. Um, part of me is tempted to swap that round and have logs on the outside and planks on the inside. Because we've got extra plank storage here. Uh, actually, just one extra one there. So yeah, we also got our pine resin full there. I'm doing the same here for metal. So this will have a scrap in the center and then loads of metal blocks inside. We don't need that at all we absolutely do not need that um because basically once we built this we don't need metal anymore other than making the odd bot here and there so yeah although we've got more aqueducts to build yet so that's fine i'm also explodifying this mountain piece by piece so um uh we've got one dynamite there twos here and threes here and then we go up to the next one which is one two and then three and we go up to the next one which is ones twos and threes and then again, one, twos, and threes. And I'm going to go to the top, and we're going to blow the top one out. Uh, so we're going to go to the threes, the twos, the ones. And then we're going to put in all threes. And then that will line up with this row here. That's a double dynamite. Hang on. I might have messed this up. Ah, it doesn't matter. So, but yeah, I'm going to blow the top down, and then blow the next one down. So we'll have a little bit of explosion there, and then a bigger explosion, and then a bigger explosion, and then a bigger one, and then a massive one at the end. So... Uh, that's the plan. We'll see how that goes. Um, 
obviously scrap is coming in and working this is about ready to be raised up so i think maybe we should work on this as well shall we do that right now let's map it up pause the game 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 map editor um let's go into the delete objects goodbye let's just fill that in oop and oop and i'm gonna run a road around it like this so we know where it is so that should be fine there um, we know that's where we put it in there. I'll face it probably that way. You find it. It's kind of awkward where it's going to be, but that's where I'm. I'm leaving them. Uh, we moved that one over by one. That one's staying exactly where it is. So yeah. Um, and then we can use the map editor to um, put in. Oh, I don't think I can. Oh, I can technically. But let's put it in like that. Um, that's all oh, sorts of broken. Hold on. Oh god, I might just break my game. Um, did it finish building the... Um, I'm going to see whether that works or not. I don't think... I'll just put that in floating in midair, technically. Because the ground underneath it isn't, isn't there. So we could cancel the build underneath it and it would be floating in midair. That would be weird. Um, can you do that? Can... can if I got rid of that, then got rid of that. That is technically floating in a in a block. Okay. Can we put stuff on can we build on top of it? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. So no, it won't build on top of it because it's not there. Okay, so uh, so we do need to uh get our um We need to okay okay that's interesting that's interesting though you can build floating i bet a save and a reload would would cause that to be deleted because uh, it wouldn't be valid for it so but um that's okay that's okay we don't mind that we don't mind that that's fine so um yeah what else do i have to report not a lot not a lot i'm afraid um we're going to start working on the aqueducts coming out here as well, but um, I just, what I need to do is I need to get bots going. So let's turn on the bots. Let's turn on that, that, and that. And we'll get the bots being made. And then we'll turn on the bot makers and we'll make the bots. And then we'll change our haulers over to be bots because we don't have any haulers here. Um, we've got some in here. Yeah, we've got some in here and some in here. So that's not too bad. And, and then the the, the uh, builders are dropping down, so we can drop the bots, the, the uh, haulers out of these guys, and make them builders, which will help build things, and that'll be fine. We are going to need more as well because we're going to need more farm hands and stuff like that, bits pieces. So that'll be interesting. Uh, there were a few comments, uh, not last episode, the episode before, and maybe the episode before that as well. Um, I was saying about how we want to design this here to be built, so I need to pick a quad. So this is center and like build a quadrant with a. Uh, so many houses in it i can't remember the number now but uh, uh we could use the large barracks um which i know are not as efficient as row houses but you can use the large barracks and then stack them on top of each other they're only too tall so if you did that and stack them on top of each other it's the same height as this um so yeah so uh like a large barracks is 16 so we get 32 in a three by three and a three by three we can get 8, 16, uh, also 32. So it's the same as this, but that only has one entrance, or we'll have two entrances. So I'll have that one there and the one above it. Also, because it's a larger building, you only need one like roof to support the whole building. So if we built four of them, so let's unlock this because we're going to use them here. So if we built four of them uh, like this, I wouldn't build them like this, but if we did that, and then the center here we put a roof it would support all four buildings we give the aesthetic bonus to all four buildings at once so they do have their uses um, i think what i want to try and do is never have a barracks facing another barracks so do that i don't ever want to do that i have to have this one out here on like that so the, the doors never face each other and that way we can always put ladders in up against the back of the barracks like that and we won't be blocking out extra doors and things so they should never face each other so that'd be fine i think that'd be okay we can build things up and do things that was all the way i figure out to get them in there and then on the roofs we can put rooftop terraces and along where the pathways are we can just build up our platforms all the way up and um put in the decorations on there so we'll just do it from the ladders we'll just go up with the ladders here and here and then we'll just do platforms off of the ladders top of the ladders 
put the decorations on top like that something like that i don't know but we need lots of rooftop terraces i also need space for campfires campfires are a pain because um you see we've got four of them we've currently got 180 population and our campfire is 40. so and that's mainly because of the work hours we've got so many work hours going on so you need lots of campfires like only they only if get used for like two hours a day and so um and this can support um where's the campfire where's the campfire where's the campfire there uh, five beavers so 10 beavers a day get to use this so 10 20 30 40 beavers get to use this so hence why it's only 40 happiness so if it's 10 beavers a day for a campfire we're going to have a thousand beavers one mega beaver as was pointed out and then maybe in the future we'll go for a terra beaver or a peta beaver um terra beaver would be terrifying i don't think any computer could handle um uh 10 000, oh, terabyte yeah, 10,000 beavers, and then a pet beaver would be a million beavers? No, 100,000 beavers. 100,000 bytes? Megabyte? No, I missed that gigabyte. Wow, there's giga beavers. There's giga beavers and terra beavers and pet beavers. Wow, okay. Um, anyway, um, that's a joke that you'll get if you get it, and if you don't, then don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, so if we're going to have 1,000 beavers, and this supports 10, we need 100 campfires. <laughs> to keep them all going obviously we won't need 100 campfires because we're not going to have a thousand jobs so um we won't need that many but um if i was to say this is kind of like the outside road and then we put campfires down around it uh do like this um how long is this how long is this between edges to edges so uh there's no way to uh there's no measurement tools no measurement tools which is kind of annoying uh let's do this so 10 20 30 1 2 3 4 5 that's 35 so that's um 5 10 15 uh yeah 5 10 15 20 25 brain brain fail what we're doing That's seven. That's seven. Pain. My brain completely went, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you counting in fives? And I don't know. I don't know why I started counting in fives. I was doing to divide it by five. So we can get seven campfires along there, and then seven along there, and seven, so that's seven, 14, 21, 28. We need 100. <laughs> and we need roads coming out as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Campfires cannot be put on top of roofs either, so... Yeah. But okay, um, uh, we are in the stage of I can do nothing. Uh, I need to wait for things to happen. Uh, we need to wait for this to get built. I don't know why it's taking so long to get built. It's got no logs, which is very confusing, because we definitely have logs. We definitely have logs. Um, I should set all these bottom ones to be um, uh, in demand. Everything that's on the bottom floor that's uh, stacked should be demand, so they always bring it to the bottom floor. We do have a fair few explosives, so we're not fussed about that. It's just we don't have the beaver power to put them all down. So, so um, yeah, I think we're in a a, a sort of a... Um, I've got to wait for it to go and um, just see it happen and see how it goes, and that's fine. Um, we should be getting our first bots if I turn the bot factories on. I didn't do that. Let's turn the bot factories on. Let's get ourselves our first bot. Let's also switch this over. I can't switch this over till we build a bot. Here we go. Here we go. Let's build a bot. It's going to take two days, if not longer, to build a bot. So we'll be back once the first bot is here. And let's do this. Stop, 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 stop. Damn you. How could you? Could you run away just before I was ready to click the thing? There he is. There he is. Iron bot one. Iron bot one is reporting for duty. Awesome. Iron bot one. You are. Oh, what? You are. You are the thing. You are the thing. You are. And um, the camera's really not liking being this close to the map. <laughs> 
iron bot one awesome 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 there's a thumbnail right there okay so iron bot one is going to work in here because now we can switch this over yes and yes there we go okay iron bot one will report for duty and we'll start doing these things and obviously iron bot one will go around and do stuff all um all day without a problem no issue whatsoever uh we can only get on top of these storages in order to put in uh like grease storage or something but i could put them back here i'm not fussed about coming out a little bit longer to do grease i'm just not sure um grease makes the bots faster it doesn't do anything for them they don't need it they don't need it it makes them faster so if we find iron bot one um iron bot one is running at plus 30 percent speed if we increase it it gets to 60 percent speed and its work speed will also be faster work speed isn't important for us it's all about movement speed because we are haulers Although, maybe the working speed is this speed that he's carrying stuff, because these guys are 60% speed. 15% speed and 60, and you are 45 and 30. No, it's movement. It's all based on movement, so that's all we care about. All is just care about movement. So, doubling their movement speed with a bit of grease. Yeah, let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. Let's enable it and uh, see what happens with it. They'll have to come here to get the grease because it's the only place we're going to store it for the moment. Um, but we could put large grease storages back here. Wouldn't be a major problem. We can also go up on top of this guy from the back, so we could put another holder here. I might do that. I might put the three holders here. I'm not sure how many bots this will support because I don't know how long bots are alive for. Um, I don't know if they're 100 days, the same as the Iron Teeth. Uh, sorry, uh, folk tales we're playing the iron teeth um i don't know for 100 days um so i'm not sure what our population is going to become um, if it is 100 days and you take 36 hours which is technically two days uh because you've got to remember you uh, so it's 36 plus eight um and then plus eight because they're not sleeping for well plus plus 12 so that's 36 plus 12 um because they don't sleep for six they sleep for six hours a day so they can't work that and that's if they were working optimally 100 percent without any um breaks and stuff so uh getting food and things so uh so it takes two days to make a bot um and if they last 100 days that means that both of these should support 100 bots is that right two days to make a bot in 100 days you'll make 50 bots and the first one will die in 100 days and then you'll make 50 bots so we should get about 100 bot population which is vastly more than I thought we would. Um, so we've got 8, we've got 10, 20, 30. It might be less than that because obviously they're not going to be running 100% of the time, these things. So might be less than that. I don't know. But if we aim for like 100, we could put in 10 hauling posts. That's really not a problem. Putting in 10 hauling posts. We could line the back of this with hauling posts just all the way along. Hauling posts back here and all the bots just report to the hauling posts not a problem and then 100 bots moving things around for us so our people when they come to work they just have the goods you know um they turn up here and they've just got everything and they don't need to do anything else and they turn up here and they've got everything and everything will be just supplied water will be moved around fine in an answer to a question from a couple of episodes ago how we're going to do water this is going to end up being six or seven deep and we're going to put um the uh water pen on top of that and that will be how we get the water uh, we'll start here and work our way outwards either side um, but this will be way deeper it won't just be one shallow it'll be way deeper in fact it will be one deeper than the uh the pumps can actually pump so it will be this deep and the pumps can reach that far so um you see the pumps uh um they have a depth of six that is six so it'll be this deep and so the bottom row will never get pumped out and the bottom row will be what feeds the main shaft so we potentially could run out of water. However, this is going to be six deep by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wide. Six times eight is 48, ironically. Uh, we'll just do that. And then it's going to be this long. <laughs> um, uh, what is this? So these are five, aren't they? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 65, 70. I can't see them now. 70. Let me start again. Let me start again. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 times 5 is 96. So times 96. We're going to be storing 4,608 blocks of water. And I don't believe one pump is a block of water. I think it's less than that. So even if it was that way, we'd be storing 4,608 water, which is um, not as much as we need. We need way more than that. But I think I, I don't know how much a single cube of water actually gives you. I've never figured it out. We, we, I should really do a three by three pool and then um, like just pump it out as quickly as is physically possible. But I'd have to do that in a test scenario because we can't do it in this sort of living scenario because of variants of water going up and down in bits and pieces. So I don't know. I don't know how much an actual block of water. So i have chosen three by three because that's probably the best way. We could do a one, a one wide pool, fill it with a things and let it empty i suppose there's ways to do it i need to test that i need to test that i might do that i might do a little test to find out how much one pool of water actually gives you with a little bit of variance obviously because you know beavers will drink it and take time to do it and we'll figure it out later anyway i think for now we're gonna leave this and we will come back next time let me speed the game up because it's been running really slow for ages um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the cheat menu. I'm going to push four because that makes 30 times speed, which is beautiful. And the game runs very nicely. There is a 99 speed option in here as well. Um, don't use that if you've got lots of beavers. Um, if you're running the game at 99 speed, the beavers tend to skip out their needs. And some of their needs are food and water. So they end up dying. You end up just losing loads of beavers for it. It's fine if you've only got like... 10 20 beavers as soon as you get anywhere near 100 99 speed just doesn't work your computer mileage might vary uh 30 speed might not work for you but um but yeah um but 30 speed seems okay beavers can still go and get food and water if it's 99 speed it might be that the tick where they went to get water they skipped it to move on and then they just die and you end up with loads of beavers dying so i've done that a few times you may have seen it in some previous episodes i wouldn't suggest 99 speed 30 speed do it enable free mode on the camera Zoom out. Enjoy. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in this one. And until then, as always, have fun.